Hi, I'm Kobus Appelgren, the Executive Director of West Pasco Habitat for Humanity. And at Habitat for Humanity, we have a vision, and the vision that we have is a world where everyone has a decent place to live. And to be able to do that, we build homes. That's the most important thing that we do, is we build homes. And to build a home, we use a volunteer or volunteers, and they would come in three days a week and just work with us. During the last year, we actually built seven homes, and we are also very grateful for people who give in kind gifts. Uh, for instance, Valspar, a paint company, gave us all the paint that we needed last year, and they actually give all the paint for all habitat builds throughout the nation. And then Whirlpool gave us uh, all the uh, appliances and again they do it uh, throughout the nation and then Steiner Electrical give us some of the uh, electrical material that we use. So uh, we uh, accept uh, gifts in kind from people as well so if you maybe have a window or door or something like that or a light fixture that you can act that we will actually be able to use that's still in a new condition uh, we will very gladly accept that. Uh, we also uh, need financial donations because a lot of the things that we have to buy to put into the homes we have to pay for and we also need volunteers. Our volunteer days are Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays and we work from approximately 8 to approximately 1 o'clock with the volunteers and uh, you can visit our website wphabitat.com uh, to do a donation or to find out more about volunteering. Now uh, something else that I need to mention in building homes is we also have family partners. The family partner would be the family that would live in the home eventually and there are three things that we look for when we choose family partners. They would apply to us and we look and see if they have a need. So there must be a problem in their house now. They cannot own a house. If they own a house they have no need. But if they're renting somewhere that's inadequate and maybe the, the house is not energy efficient or just unsafe or it's an unsafe neighborhood, uh, we would consider that to be a need. The second thing that they need to be able to meet is they must have the ability to pay because we are selling these homes to the family partners. Now, we are selling them at cost and we are also selling them at a 0% mortgage rate, which we carry the mortgage and it's a 0%. So it's very, very affordable, but they must be willing to invest in their own house because we believe in a hand up and not a hand out. And then the third thing that they need to do, they must be willing to partner with us. Each uh, adult in the house needs to do 200 uh, sweat equity hours for vow. So if they meet those three things, then we can talk and we can actually help them. The second thing that we do is we do remodel homes. If we have an existing house that needs remodeling, getting up to energy standards and such, we will remodel it and utilize the same model of uh, getting a family partner that will um, move into that house and pay for it. So uh, if you have a house that you want to donate, please contact me. Uh, we would be very, very much interested in fixing it up and uh, putting a family in there so that they will have a decent place to live. Something else that we do is we do a brush with kindness. Brush with kindness is not at a no cost for the homeowner and that is for somebody that have the need to have the outside painted, maybe the gutters done, a uh, little landscape cleanup and so on. And that's normally more senior people or people that because of one or other reason cannot do it themselves and we would like to help them. Then uh, we also have a restore where we sell donated goods to raise funds for our mission. Um, that is uh, goods that are donated by people like you. Uh, anything from household goods to uh, a car or, uh, or building material that we can sell to raise funds for our mission. And that actually covers all our overhead. So if you do give us a donation for a house, Everything goes to that house, every single penny, because the restore are covering all our overheads like salaries, insurance, and uh, utilities, etc. So if you have a donation that you want to make to the restore, you can always call us at 727-843-8786, and we can pick it up, or you can drop it off at 4131 Madison Street. We also have a community garden project where, te where we teach people how to grow vegetables and also what edible plants there are in Florida. 
And we also have a little aquaponic system that we can teach you how to set that up in your own backyard and uh, just produce your own vegetables and fish right there for you. So uh, please come and uh, volunteer at the garden and that is on a daily basis, every day, Monday through Saturday from 9 till approximately 12 o'clock. No uh, garden on Sundays though. So uh, please come and visit us at our premises at 4131 Madison Street or visit us on the web and become involved and let's share this dream and make it a reality of a world where everyone have a decent place to live.